everybody thanks for coming back to my channel so today's video i am really excited about it is a nail polish collection video and you're not going to see me in this video today just because um, i'm feeling a little bit under the weather as you can probably hear from my voice so i have a makeup storage collection video which i can link on the page and i am now creating a nail polish collection video so the thing with my nail polish is I feel like it's always growing so it's never gonna be done but I like the idea of the racks I think the racks are a really good way to store your nail polish and yeah I have one full empty shelf so that's really awesome and nail polish is definitely something that I love collecting and if you want to see in detail all of the nail polish that I have and a little bit of mini reviews on some of the polishes then definitely just keep on watching. So this is an overview of my nail polish rack. It has six shelves as you can see and five out of the six are filled and I got this from Amazon I believe so I will have this linked below. But when I got this, I was super excited because it's a really good way to organize my nail polish. It used to be in like a box and I don't know, I just like being able to see what I have and it just, it's so much easier this way. So I organize them by brand mostly and I do it by brand and then by color. We're going to start with the first row right here and I'm going to go through and tell you the names like with the caps shown so it's just easier instead of going like that one is that one that one is that one i just feel like that's an easier way to to do it this is my se wrapped in rubies this one is slap happy this one is sunday fun day i love that one this one is se's in the cabana that's a really popular one this one is strut your stuff i love this one so good for the spring this one is butler please this was a gift from my friend, a Christmas gift, and this one is Mint Candy Apple. Some of these I know by, by heart and some of them I don't. This one is Bikini So Teeny. This one is Midnight Cami. The name is not on that. This one's on sale at the Apothecary. This one is Cashmere Bathrobe, if you can see that. This one is Essie's Plating. I believe that one was limited edition, but you can always get limited edition nail polishes on Amazon or eBay. And this one is to buy or not to buy. This was a Christmas gift as well, a couple years ago. Or a birthday gift, I can't remember. This one is Madison Avenue. Hoop. This one is Essie's Big Spender. This is Essie's... This is Under the Twilight. This is Style No Mix. This is Take It Outside. So next we have some OPI polishes. And this one is All I Want for Christmas. This one is Go With The Lava Flow. I've not, I have not worn that yet, and I've had it for over a year. And this one is Pinking Of You. This one is called Strawberry Margarita. Nice hot pink. This one is Keeping Susie At Bay. This one is, I'm just gonna let you read that because I can't pronounce that Hawaiian word, Hawaiian country right there. And then these are some Revlon polishes up here that I have. This one is Stormy Light. This one is Bold Sangria. And this one is Raspberry Rapture. And actually, I have two of those. And then we have a Summer Brights polish that doesn't have a name to it. And this one is a Deborah Lippman Dark Side of the Moon. And this is CoverGirl. This is a CoverGirl polish in the shade for 147 Skylight at the bottom there. there. Then we move over to the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Collection right here. This is, I love this line. They come out with great colors, kind of like Essie. I have a random yellow here that I really like. This one is called Mellow Yellow, number 360. Then I have Giant Peach, and that one looks really good when I have a tan on. This is Green Thumb. This is a really good green. It's a nice creamy one. This one is Orchid Around, number 440. This is Peplum, number 230. I love this one. I love combining these two, actually. Uh, this one is called Pink Satin. This is the reformulation of Pacific Blue. I like the other one way better. And this one is Bear It All. And we have 
Golden 4. This was from the Golden Eye collection, probably. This is the White On. This is just a nice white base. It chips really easily, which is annoying. So I kind of want to get the OPI white because that one is probably good. This is Sally Hansen Save the Date, number 460. This is Sally Hansen Ruby Doo. And this is Nicole by OPI Rainbow in the Sky Lee. I really like that glitter as you can see, however it's very similar to this Essie one, like it has the same kind of sparkle. Then this one is a really pretty like pink rose gold one and it is called Inner Sparkle. This is a Milani Fierce Foil Sardina number 06 and this one is a really pretty gold rose goldy color and it is in the shade Gilded Rocks. And then we have a Wet n Wild Fast Dry Black. Now we're moving into like the random polishes and then we have some Charming Charlie ones down there that I'm super excited to show you. So this is a Formula X polish. It's the 4th of July one that I love wearing during that time of year. And then I have two Orly ones and this one is in the shade Red Flare and this one is in the shade Sterling Silver Rose. I never wear those two. I should probably get rid of those. But then we have some Wet n Wild ones. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last line, which I really like. And it is in the shade Disturbia. This is in the shade Elegance. It's a nice pearly white. And this is from the Fergie line. I don't really like the color, but I like the formula. And it is in the shade Velvet Lounge. This is a really old one. I should get rid of this one too. But this is in the Wet n Wild Wild Shine collection. It is tickled pink. Can you see it up top there? And then I have two simple colors ones. I never use these either. But why do I have things I don't use? I don't know. This is in the shade Pink Forever. That's pr pretty much me in a nutshell. And then we have a nice purple which is called Fiji. And this is China Glazes. Surreal Appeal. I wanted to get Flip Flop or whatever that one is called, the really popular peachy shade, but they didn't have it when I went because it was probably limited edition. So I just picked that nice peach one up. And then these are some of my glitters from Essie. I don't think I've ever worn these, but I just love looking at them. This is in the shade Jazzy Ju Jubilant? Jubilant? Whatever. There you go. And this is in the shade Sparkle on top. It's just a clear base with some gold and silver sparkle. This is like exactly the same as that Melody one up there. This is also in the shade Gilded Rose. Actually, I wonder if these are the exact same polish. That is funny. This is Gilded Rose by Maybelline. And these are two samples uh, from Color Club The Minis. This is Rad Nomad. I wore this once, I believe. It was pretty on the toes. And this one is a mini also in Snow Queen. I have not worn that yet. And this is a sample mini size of the Formula X Happy Hour. And I've worn this one with this top coat and I really like the combination. And then we have all of my Charming Charlie nail polish. I love this formula. I have some gel effect. And then I have just some regular polish, but I love Charming Charlie nail polish. It, it's so good. It's so opaque. And this is my collection right here. So I have this gel effect polish. This is called Wine and Dine. I love that name. I don't think I even wore this one. I meant to wear it during the holidays, but I forgot. This is Playdate, which is kind of a boring name for this green, I think. And that's also a gel effect. And this is a really pretty creamy blue, and it is called You Blew Me Away. I love that name. I need a tutorial after that. Then we have my non-gel formula right here. And this one is a really pretty pumpkin metallic. And it's called Cinnamon Swirl. I love the name of that one. And we have Armed and Dangerous. And this one was on sale. It was lovely. So Armed and Dangerous. It's nice charcoal metallic. Then we have all my sparkles, and I love the Charming Charlie sparkles. This one is Seeing Stars, and you can actually see the stars in there. And this one I wore during Christmas, and I got a lot of compliments on it. Except we sold out of it, I remember, so it was hard to sell. 
But this one is Holiday Sparkles and it's really pretty. You can see that right there. And we have this one and this one is called Sparks Fly. It reminds me of a Taylor Swift song. And this one goes really good with that polish right there. And then we have this one which just came out and this one is called TZ Does It and this is part of our Valentine's Day collection and then I have a random color club polish and I don't even know the name of this one hot like lava apparently I like things named lava because that OPI one up there is also lava related what's wrong with me but uh, I think I wore that one once or twice I wore this one with that one and it was a really good color combo and then I have some nail polish that are thinner here so that is again my nail polish collection so there you go so again there is the overview of my nail polish rack once again i hope you guys found this video helpful or liked going through my collection and if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know what's in your collection if you have any of these polishes and don't forget i do upload twice a week so you'll want to definitely subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of nail polish videos, like top fives of this particular season. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Talk. Oh my God, my arm hurts. This one is giant green thumb. Sorry, I'm reading it through the, the viewfinder. Ruby, Ru Ruby Doo, Ruby Doo. I feel like Scooby Doo when I say that. Oh, we gotta get that C to show.